Great morning, friends. Jason DeSantis, hashtag Cincy Car Coach. See more videos on my YouTube at Jason DeSantis. Problem solving. We all go through it, right? You probably have a list of problems to solve today, or maybe you've already tackled a few. But problems come in all shapes and sizes. Some of them are at work, uh, little email disputes, or charts and graphs you need to organize. Some of them are personal relational and go on and on some of them are about organizing your path in life right a little more deep conversation there but here's the deal when it comes to problem solving there's only so much you can actually do to organize a situation right or prepare for an event and then at some point You've done all you can do. I've said this one before. I learned this from someone a long time ago. It sticks in my head. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to do or say. I've said that before in these videos. But this is kind of what I'm driving at. So, you have a set of problem-solving skills that you've used to get yourself to a certain point with a particular issue. And you've done it all, right? Now, that part's done, but now you've got the emotion of what happens next, right? Um, and I talk a lot about emotions and focus and energy and attention, right? That's where this comes into play. But if you've done all you can do, and you're confident that you've done everything you could do, and even if you feel like at this point you've missed a couple of things, but the time is, time is now, you need to shift your problem-solving skills to how you feel. How do you do that? Many different ways. But the conscious decision of letting go of the hands-on effort to the situation or the problem at hand, letting go of that and just focusing on your perspective is huge. If you can learn how to focus on your perspective at the right moment in time, man, how great does that feel? It just gives you so much control, right? You can put something aside that used to give you anxiety and fear and worry and take control and manage the part that you still have some influence over, which is your perspective. I don't know how else to put this. I think I'm making it clear. You know, <laughs> there's a really old prayer that applies to this. It's called the serenity prayer. If you don't know it, here it goes. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Think about that, the serenity prayer. You don't have to be a Christian or even have faith for it to make sense to you, right? So, let go of what's done and move forward with what you have influence over, which is your perspective, your focus, and your attention. And focus your attention on the positive things in the situation. Smile, move forward, say hi to somebody, open a door, make it a great day.